Hey everyone, so I'm actually supposed to be hunting, but I'm not hunting right now. I'm playing on my sewing machine because just after getting back from International Quilt Festival, I bought some new feet for my Bernina. And of course, you know, my Bernina has dots. It's the 570 edition tulip pink. I absolutely love it. So I'm working on a class sample. And I wanted to kind of go over this because I know in class a lot of people are like, you know, do you hand sew? Do you machine sew? I do a lot of hand sewing, but I can't keep hand sewing all of my samples. So I have been playing around. So I want to show you kind of the difference between some of them. So this, um, this actually is hand sewn. So you can see, now I did this with kimono silk thread, um, which is this. It is 100 weight, so it just glides right into the fabric. Now this piece here is hand sewn, so you can see, you really can't see the stitches at all. But, you know, this is how we learn. So I bought this foot, uh, it's from my Bernina, it is number 24. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the embroidery foot, um, but it's a free motion foot. And then I tried the new Appliquick uh, Invisible Thread, which looks like this. Okay, I used it in the top and in the bobbin, and it's free motion. So, yeah, this is how we learn. <laughs> um, I just took little jabs in and out um, it, it it's a little different because I'm not used to free motioning on my domestic machine so you know this like I said this is kind of how we learn I wasn't entirely happy with how it was coming out so I switched and now the other foot that I bought is the Bernina 34 so it's the Bernina 34 okay um, I took out the invisible thread. I put in a taupe color uh, kimono silk thread in the top and the bobbin. Now I took it to stitch number three and then I reduced my size, okay? And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, for me, I wanted to get it as close to hand stitching as possible. Um, I do have to use my lever bar, which is this for my knee. But I'm pretty happy with how that one came out a lot flatter, um, say, than when I was free motioning it. Um, the kimono silk thread, you know, anytime you have silk thread, it just kind of melts into the fabric. So this is the one I think, this is the stitch I kind of like the best. But you know, this is how we learn. So this one is hand sewn. This one is machine sewn using the number three. And then I reduced my stitches. And I'm using number 34. Now this is for my Bernina. Um, 570 so if you have don't have a Brunina if you have a stitch that looks like that and you can reduce it uh, this is the effect you'll get so I'm I hope this helps I'm gonna keep playing around with this because this is how we learn um, yeah I should be able to get out in the woods hopefully this afternoon, but I'm, I'm kind of having fun playing on my, my domestic machine. I don't get to do that a lot. So hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I hope this helps.